I was here when the Arachnid brought a young woman filled with promise and potential to the Alcazar of Radiant Judgment. Although the Burrowers and Arachna had a history of wars, the Astral Shrines were neutral ground, and things were calm then. But Morganth could not grasp the grace of our magic. She needed something solid to hold, not ephemeral like Starlight. The subtle nature of the stars incensed her, and though she was not capable of learning it, she was strong enough to destroy it. Go speak to the celestial powers that you have restored. Learn what you can from them, then find me here. Greetings, wizard. Although we are eternal and you are not, I will be indebted to you for your brief span. Star magic, as you know, is the magic of auras. They are a cold, clear, guiding light that enhances your abilities. Dark Morganth came here with a shadow across her heart. She wanted to force the stars to her whims. That is not our nature. Wizard, together we have reignited the heavens. The stars glow serenely in their place. They will witness your victory. Morganth corrupted the moon shrine and obliterated the stars. But she first touched shadow in the place of the sun. You must reach the solar arc if you wish to better understand the magic of shadow. It is said that Morganth tried to find the shadows behind the stars. That she wished to turn auras into weapons. She does not fail to reach for greatness, but when she stumbles, she does not learn. Instead, she lashes out. You must be careful not to let your quest for knowledge become a self-destructive thirst for power. Welcome, wizard. I can see the shape of your heart. It is a good one. Tell Amelia Stardust it is time for you to walk in the chambers of the mind. I wish you luck. said that you were to walk in the chambers of the mind? It is as I thought. In order to face the Shadow Queen, you have to understand where Morganth came from and the shape of her heart. Clear your thoughts and meet me in front of the chambers of the mind. You sense a swirl of energies from behind these doors, some distantly familiar and some very strange. None of it is warm. The chambers of the mind let you see Morganth's dreams. These are fragments of her past, but shaped by time and prejudice. Of course, like all true visions, these can hurt you. Are you ready to walk in Morganth's dreams? Enter the first chamber of the mind. You will see and hear one of Morgant's earliest memories. Remember, these are true things, but colored by how she remembers them. Are you listening to me? Do what I say, and Artorius will fall. I have no patience to watch the people suffer while he dithers. I gazed upon the divining treasure, and it showed me the land will wither under his rule. The old way, the old king, is gone. This toothless bear lets too many foes nip at his heels. The people need a new, strong sword to follow. 
Once I sabotage his armor, the next friendly duel he accepts will be his last. If only Mallory would see there is another way. The Froudling magic holds the key to getting what we want, without hurting anybody. You are meeting a Spriggan here? I will not treat with those dishonorable savages. You will not treat with whom, Poxy Knight? I have brought the horned crown that Lady Morganth requested. It is potent magic of darkness and shadow. You have my reward. Foul creature. Your reward will be my blade. Morganth, take the horned crown and hide it away. I must go and ensure Arturius' armor is not fit for battle. If for whatever reason my plan is spoiled, then you must use the horned crown to enslave the king. Brother, if your plan goes awry, I, I could not live on in Avalon without you. crown contains a power I've not encountered in any of Merle Ambrose's teachings. It twists and turns by itself. I wonder if Ambrose has any theory of it inscribed in his tomes of forbidden knowledge. Go, little sister, and prepare. I will see you when all of this is done and but a memory. Are you recovered from the first dream? Enter the second chamber of the mind. Another time, another place, another dream. Remember, these are true things, but Morgant's age and temperament color them. Study, Adept Morganth. Do you know why you were sent here? Can you fathom the chaos and pain you caused? What toll you almost cost us? Of course I know why I'm here, you prattling fool. I failed. Not for breaking the rules, but because I bungled it openly. If it had not been for the swift intervention and ceaseless aid of Sylvia and myself, Wizard City might be a smoldering ruin. 
You think the astral schools are playthings and the spiral worlds a game board or laboratory to practice upon? Aren't they? Someone needs to understand the boundaries of the spiral and figure out which rules can be bent and which broken. Your punishment is a suspension of magical studies for the immediate future. Give me your wand. What? My wand? You pompous, arrogant, stuffed shirt! I'll give you my wand. much left for you to learn, impudent child. Enough! What is going on here? Malastair Morganth, enough of this madness. Headmaster, I was only teaching Morganth how little she knows. Malastair, I expected you to handle this prudently, not to wage war on each other. And Morganth, oh, Morganth. You disappoint me. Never mind, Malastair. Asking you to censure Morganth was my failing, as was my inability to teach her caution and mercy. Morganth, for placing Ravenwood in dire jeopardy, and for your utter lack of remorse, there can be only one punishment. I must take away your wand and your deck of spells. No, 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 don't you dare! Don't you think that you can do this to me for one second? I won't let you. I can't live without my magic. And expel you from Ravenwood. May you find your true self out in the spiral. No! We must all learn our lessons from this tragic series of events, or else we will be doomed to repeat them.
You look pale and unsteady. Will you be all right? It is time to enter the third and final chamber of the mind. As I've said before, these are true things, but memory is a fickle and unreliable partner. As promised, we found a world of wonders and untapped riches, did we not? The crew is eager to disembark. Shame you didn't want to stay longer at the Alcazar. Those burrowers had some lovely jewels and artwork. Fetch a pretty penny. Still, after we see what this hive has to offer, whether its primitives can teach you the magic you seek, we can go back there. Blasted astral magic! Too slippery to grasp. I swear I'll master it one day, or burn the lot of it to ash! With luck, you'll get a nice shiny deck of cards from these Arachna Magi, and me crew will be able to expl- What have we here? Trespassers in the recluse chamber? Summon the Arachna Skinners. Do not let them escape. No, no, you don't understand. I'm a simple Skyway captain, and this is me charge, Lady Morgantha, and we are looking for- Die, Burrows! be running before too late ah the intruders you cannot escape the shadow web once we deal with you we will find your ship and your crew and hang them up surrender and i can ensure you feel little pain be pleased that you shall feed the next generation of warriors. Skinner, hold your weapon. Take the pathetic rat away to do as you like. But we wish to examine this strange one. That does not sound good. She may prove to be the one we are searching for. The chosen one of the Grand Prophecy, if she survives the testing. It is over, Spellbinder. 
From here, you must travel to the Mantis capital of Sardonyx. Use this crystal to illuminate the teleporter to hasten your voyage. Young wizard, I am thrilled by the progress you have made. Simply look at this place. Gorgeous, wonderful, scintillating. You have restored two of the great astral artifacts of this world, the moon and stars. Once you fix up the solar arc, I'm sure there's no way for Morgath to maintain her grip on this world. Have you found it yet? Spellbinder, the Solar Ark lies in the badlands of the Kanda Desert, beyond the city of Sardonyx. It has been lost to us since Morganth proclaimed it forbidden to all. I am sending you to an ally of Radiance Reborn, to an order of monks devoted to star magic. Ask them about the Solar Ark. Travel to the city of Sardonyx. Bring word to the monks that Radiance is reborn, and they can help you find the Solar Ark. As in Bastion, the mana globes seem to flicker and awaken, responding to your presence. You need a priest. Sorry, this shrine is closed on orders of the Umbra Legion. <laughs> 